Yes. Just a quick update about uh, what we're what we're doing at Purchase with portfolios um, on campus. Actually, not so much. Yeah, we we've talked about how to, but anyway. Um, but one thing we've done since SUNY is a large university system, and I'm at, at Purchase, um, there are sixty four or 65 campuses, depending on the week, uh, in the system. And we have uh, provided ePortfolio systems uh, services to a number of other campuses. Um, since we're running Mahara, we have no licensing issues. Um, and so I just wanted to uh, bring up a couple of, of those. Probably our most successful use of ePortfolios on campus is for our Bridges program. This is a summer uh, collaboration that Purchase has with a half a dozen of the um, neighboring community colleges that are part of SUNY. Uh, NASA and Westchester and Orange and Suffolk and a couple of others um, for Probably over a decade, uh, we've brought in students from our partner community colleges to either participate in summer natural sciences lab experiences, or um, more, more than lab, because uh, we've got our field sciences uh, involved as well. Uh, and more recently, we've started bringing in students from the more humanities and social, um, well, more the humanities to do, uh, and also an on-campus uh, summer program. These are like uh, five, six weeks long. Uh, we would typically have five or six uh, faculty in, the, in biology, chemistry, psychology, and so forth uh, run a summer lab experience for teams of students. Um, and for the last four years, I think, the coordinators of the program have incorporated an e-portfolio component, both for the, uh, the students who are in the lab programs as well as for the students who are in the um, more humanities-based uh, program. And um, the uh, portfolios have been away for... Um, for the participating students to reflect on their activities, to accumulate uh, examples of their work and so forth, and have been very important for the faculty coordinators of the program to focus in on uh, issues like identi uh, developing ident uh, academic identity and developing future orientation among the students and uh, some other more meta kinds of, of uh, development that, um, that the program is interested in promoting. Uh, and we've had the, the two faculty coordinators uh, talk about the results to the, Mo to the MUG group. Uh, they've uh, published some, some papers um, out of the analysis of the students' journals, and they did find that, um, you know, saw uh, significant increases in future orientation and academic uh, identity and persistence in those, uh, those traits that they were interested in looking at. Uh, so, and... You know, the fact that uh, we're doing this in collaboration with our community college partners, basically, well, for the first, first year we did this, the students, when they come to purchase, have a purchase account for the five weeks that they're on campus. And so, first year, the, the program used ePortfolios. They had them use their purchase accounts. But, of course, at the end of the summer, those accounts go away. And so for the last several years, I've basically gotten a, um, a list of student names and emails. Their, either their community college email or their Gmail or whatever email identity they want to use. And have, we've set this up as a separate institution on our Mahara system, along with the, all the other separate institutions we have. 
And so I just set them up with local internal accounts off of their preferred email address so that when they leave the program at the end of the summer, they their portfolios just remain. We've not taken anything down um, at this point on our portfolio system. Um, I haven't looked in detail, but I do know that some of the students actually do continue to work on their portfolios after the summer's over, so that's good. We've had more uh, intentional campus-to-campus -campus, um, support across the SUNY campuses. There have been a number of, of campuses who have been interested in piloting some portfolio use and how do you do that without signing a big uh, contract with a commercial provider and so forth. So um, there was a SUNY task force that looked at how to promote e-portfolios and we, one of the things we looked at were the barriers to e-portfolio e adoption and the things like you know how do we support it on our campus how do we pay for it um, you know how do we make a case for it if faculty don't even know that they should be thinking about e-portfolios so we've been doing a lot of this outreach to other campuses and say, well, you know, we can host a pilot of uh, e-portfolios for you on our system, which gets around the issue of how do faculty even know they should be interested in because you can, you know, have a low stakes way that you could get some pilot faculty involved without having to spend out any money because we're, well, we have no licensing costs. Um, Morrisville has been probably the most successful uh, campus who's um, um, you know continued that uh, process. It's it's been an individual faculty member or a couple of faculty members basically who are involved in uh, freshman writing courses. Morrisville is one of the technical campuses of SUNY, and. Uh, so, you know, this is de it's clearly not a campus-wide initiative at Morrisville, but for the freshman writing program, they want to include an e-portfolio component, and so we've been hosting that. We have, uh, ever since the first year, made the uh, faculty members involved administrators on their Mahara institution on our server, and so we don't even deal with creating accounts anymore. Um, you know, um, the folks, the, the faculty at Morrisville figure out, well, what are the students in their courses, get onto our system, upload a CSV file with their users to create accounts for the students. And, yeah, I essentially don't even, wouldn't even know that this, this was running uh, at this point. Um, one issue that I do feel like we haven't dealt with with the Morrisville folks is that when I look at what the students are doing, I think, well, pedagogically, you could be doing so much more. But, you know, to provide that kind of pedagogical guidance remotely is, frankly, something that we haven't uh, dealt with very well yet. SUNY Delhi is another um, Moodle campus, and so we have basically integrated their Moodle system with our Mahara system the same way we integrate our Moodle system with our Mahara system. So essentially anyone who has a Moodle account on their campus has an e-portfolio courtesy of uh, Purchase College. Um, technically that works quite well. But on campus, there's no use case promoting e-portfolios. And so we get a lot of accounts from the uh, Delhi students who are in their Moodle. They see this link. Uh, what's this? They'll click on it. They'll be registered on our Mahara system. But that doesn't really mean that they're actually doing any, any reflective work on, with e-portfolios. Um, The last thing I would just want to mention quickly is that um, I've been involved for the last year and a half in the development of a teaching and learning certificate from the Center of Professional Development at SUNY. And we ran our first round of courses. There are, as you can see, um, uh, 
these uh, four courses that are involved in the certificate. There's the learning theories and effective teaching practice course, effective communication skills, evaluation assessment, and policies and laws is more kind of a series of webinars dealing with things like copyright and FERPA and, and, and those sorts of issues. And uh, as uh, anyone, SUNY faculty, staff, librarian, whatever, could take any of these courses. If you take all four, you can get the certificate, but part of getting the certificate is you know, developing a portfolio showing your work across these four courses. And, um, you know, if the SUNY campus has their e-portfolio system, uh, they can use that. Uh, some of the faculty have used, you know, Google Docs or Google Sites, but any faculty who are is taking the certificate and needs a portfolio, uh, we're basically setting those up as one-off accounts um, as, as uh, faculty are taking the certificate. So there's some things, there's not a lot of exciting things with ePortfolios going on at Purchase other than the Bridges program. We've had some fits and starts uh, and um, things that weren't as I mentioned, um, perhaps implemented in, uh, well enough to actually make a, a dent, but uh, there's some things uh, going on system-wide that we're, we're continuing to promote. I can't remember with Mahara, where um, the, does the institution server, hold, is that what